Hey everybody, sorry about the bad audio in this video. I'm shooting on my phone. This is just going to be a quick video, but I want to talk about sea salt today. It's a topic that comes up over and over again, and a lot of people seem to be very confused about what sea salt is, and I'll certainly put my hand up to being one of those people uh, once upon a time, but I now understand the whole process, and I understand why sea salt does not taste like the ocean. Uh, if you want the short version of it, Sea salt is no different than any other kind of table salt. It's simply sodium chloride. The only difference is that instead of being mined from the ground, it's derived from the ocean. But at the end of the day, it's just sodium chloride. There's no other minerals or anything like that in there. You want the long version of that. Um, the way they derive sea salt and the way they act as though sea salt is uh, produced is that they simply take a big old lake full of ocean water and they evaporate it away and you're left over with all this wonderful sea salt. That would be true except if you've ever tasted ocean water you would know how terrible it tastes and if you have ever evaporated ocean water you're left with all of those mineral salts. It's not simply sodium chloride in the ocean. It's a lot of different mineral salts that are in the ocean, and that's what makes it taste so terrible. So if they simply evaporated the water away, collected up the salt, and sent it on home to you to sprinkle on your food, your food would taste absolutely terrible. They never mention the step in the middle where they actually strip away all of those excess mineral salts and they leave behind the sodium chloride. So the whole process is basically the way they've described it. You evaporate all the ocean water away, and what you're left over with is the mineral salts. The part they don't tell you is they then flush those mineral salts through a solution of brine. Now, brine is water that is fully saturated with sodium chloride. It cannot hold any more sodium chloride in it. It can hold other dissolved minerals though. And so when they rinse all of this ocean mineral through this brine solution, it pulls out all of the potassium chloride or whatever else is in ocean water. It's a long list of stuff because I have marine salts in the other room and that tastes like ocean water. That's for mixing up salt water for a salt water aquarium. Sea salt is for sprinkling on your food and that is simply sodium chloride. They, they run it through this brine solution, it pulls all those excess minerals out and it leaves behind the sodium chloride since the, the brine is already saturated with sodium chloride and when they flush it all away and rinse it away the only thing that's left is the sodium chloride. So sea salt is not ocean salt, it's not for making salt water, it's not for making brackish water, it's no different than mined rock salt or mineral salt that you would get from the ground. In fact, when you think about it, those salt deposits in the ground probably came from long extinct oceans once upon a time. So in a sense, even that technically is sort of sea salt. It's just been underground for a long time. Uh, the only difference you could really say is that sea salt has a high degree of purity for sodium chloride. It's 99.9% sodium chloride, whereas mined, you know, rock salt that you would get uh, is usually 99.5% purity. So there are a tiny, tiny trace amounts of impurities um, in normal ground salt. Now, if you have something like that Himalayan pink salt, that's sodium chloride, and then that pinkness comes from other impurities that are in the salt that gives it that pink color. So that would not be a very high purity salt. But at the end of the day, like I said, sea salt is sodium chloride. It's, it's not ocean salt. It's not a mixture of minerals or anything. It's just sodium chloride, and that's all there is to it. So I hope that clears that up. I hope you could hear me okay well enough. I'm sort of shouting at my camera here. So thanks for watching that one. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget, I do live streams every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.